one of the mornings it was raining cats and dogs and every other animal outside so i took an uber for 16 dollars i'm so upset <laughs> so i don't have to depend on nobody to take me nowhere when i want to go nowhere no i'm sorry i'm so sorry but i can't come earlier specifically said 12 o'clock because i can't come earlier so that was very ghetto too you're <laughs> lucky i'm not calling out to i'm asking to come at 12 o'clock when i'm tired as hell <laughs> well okay this does not sound like i'm very grateful for a job but okay Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm ready. And yes, this is a new wig. I've been in a funk lately and I feel like the one thing that really changes things for me, especially when I'm in a funk, is really just changing my wig. And so we did that and now we're here and I absolutely love this one. So far this is, my I've said that about all of them, but you know. So um, I changed my hair. I'm supposed to be going to work right now. And because I want to be lazy and just sit here for another 20 minutes to do nothing at all, absolutely nothing, I'm going to spend close to $20 on an Uber, which is very ghetto because I could just go out the block and take the bus, but I want to stay here for a few minutes and I already last night called the manager and told, texted him to, because uh, I'm like, listen, I don't want to call. I'm tired of calling him and these days he be knowing that once you're calling, even though he requested it, he be knowing that once you're calling, it's to either call out or say you have to come late. So I told him that I was at work until 11 o'clock and I couldn't come until 12 today. And he was like, okay, but you know, if you can come earlier, no, no, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, but I can't come earlier. Specifically said 12 o'clock because I can't come earlier. So that was very ghetto too, because he was saying somebody else called out. Like the man, when he was calling out, he didn't care about anybody else who was going to be there by themselves. Why do you think I care about the fact that he called out? You're lucky. I'm not calling out to. I'm asking to come at 12 o'clock when I'm tired as hell. <laughs> well, okay. This does not sound like I'm very grateful for a job. But okay. Anyways, I'm just here, like I said, killing the next 10 to 15 minutes until I have to actually call an Uber. And I'm praying that the prices go down because why? And this is one of the reasons to why I feel like I miss um, Uber Pool because it was so much cheaper like to go down there would probably cost me like nine dollars and a lot of times when you get when you used to get pool um you some most of the times like i never was in there with anybody else and i would still be able to get there at a certain time still okay so i really miss that for the fact that it was cheaper but what are we going to do? It's the times that we're living in and we can't do nothing but just pay the money and go. Especially since this was a choice that I made. I still haven't figured out which jacket I'm going to wear because mm, maybe brick outside. So I need to figure that out too before the appointment. I haven't even put my lunch in my pocket bucket. I gotta go. Hello you guys. Welcome to my vlog. You know, sometimes it really pays to just relax and know that everything is going to be fine. Because I was ripping and running just now. Obviously, you guys heard because I was vlogging just now about not um, about going to work yesterday and actually working an assignment. And the employment office literally just called me and asked me if tomorrow when I'm supposed to come in, I want to just do a clinical instead, which means I'm not going to be doing an assignment, which means it's already an easier day. You know, even though a lot of times when I do an assignment, it's an easier day for me because I have something doing the entire time until like it's time to go home and i really like that because it makes me feel more productive but um she's like yeah so you want to go to an appointment and uh, instead of an assignment yes the f i do sign me up so i'm like yeah sure and she's like okay well, i'll see you tomorrow and the, the best part is i don't have to go in until eight o'clock which means that i can sleep in for a little bit which I'm very excited about so i'm not gonna wake up until six o'clock and then I could, you know, have enough time to just move around and whatever until it's time to go. And these days, <laughs> these days, especially this week, because this week I don't have a day off. Like uh, one of the mornings it was raining cats and dogs and every other animal outside. So I took an Uber for $16. I'm so upset. <laughs> these are the moments where we'll just leave it there. Anyways, 
<laughs> so um that was upsetting and today i'm taking one it's 14 something so that's not bad but if it was uber pool it would have been cheaper so i'm kind of tight that it's not uber pool and that it's not cheaper but um i can't really complain because this is a choice that i made and um i feel like tomorrow too maybe i'll take an uber i don't really know because that's like a lot of money in ubers already and you see i need to buy a car i need to get my license and buy a car so i don't have to depend on nobody to take me nowhere when i want to go nowhere but cars are expensive <laughs> so i just be struggling i'm feeling like if i don't need it right now then pay 275 and take the bus and right now i really don't need it i just be being lazy a lot of the time so i don't need it i guess anyways i'm about to bounce right now because I literally have just enough time to call the Uber and for it to get here and so I can still be at work on time. So I need to go. Leave it up to me to wait until the last second up in there and then I'm blazing down the stairs because <laughs> I feel like I'm late. The Uber is outside. Gotta go. I didn't even put my jacket on. Like I literally threw the scarf around my neck and the jacket in my hand, the pocketbook in my hand, <laughs> blazing down the stairs looking crazy. But I'm on my way and I already feel like it's going to be a long day even though I'm starting at 12, which is crazy to even see because starting at 12 means it's a shorter day. But I'm very excited that um, they called me and said that tomorrow I could come in at um, 8 instead of like the regular time and that I'm going to be doing a clinical because honestly, I feel like I could really use an easy day or two this week, honestly. So I'm hoping too that today is not too stressful here. The standing, there's no way the standing doesn't get too stressful, but I'm hoping it's not too bad. And the universe is in my favor, but I'm headed to work right now. Hi, you guys. Also, today is my day off, my only day off for this week, and today is Saturday. Very, very wild, I know. And I started off the morning pretty early. I woke up and I was just laying in bed for a while and just to, you know, get in tune with my body and with my mind and everything. Normally in the mornings when I wake up, I will spend like a few minutes praying and just getting myself together and getting my mind right for the day. I was doing some research after that and then I decided to get up and do a workout because it's been like four or five days since I worked out because this week was really kicking my butt. And so I got up and I decided that I'm going to do a full body workout today like a high intensity i was doing 10 minutes but so far i'm 19 minutes and i'm doing the same one over again maybe like three reps of the very same workout and then um i think i'm gonna wait until like 12 or 1 to find something to eat because i don't really feel hungry right now and i just drank some water so i'm currently in the process of working out but let me show you guys my current setup so this is you see um apartments in new york you're very limited on space so this is currently the space that i'm working out in and it's very tight i'll pop one of my workouts here so you guys can see me working out in this space before it's very very tight but i'm making it work and then i have you know my ipad here with the workout from Chloe that I'm doing. And then I have my phone over here playing music because of course I'm gonna need something to keep me going. Currently I'm listening to Psycho Mode. And what I like is I have moments where I'm working out without music and I'm completely fine because it's like 10 or 15 minutes and I'm good to just get in the groove with just the workout. And then I have other moments where I feel like I need some music, something to keep me going and to get my blood flowing and whatever. Today is one of those days. And on the days where I do feel like I need music, I play music like that. That's like go, 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 go. So I'm like constantly going in my head so I can keep going to do the workout. So... I'm going to try and finish up this workout. Hopefully, my coworker does not call me back because she already called me twice and I had to just <clears throat> be doing active rest. So, like, you're resting, but you're, you, you're moving still. So, I was just walking back and forth throughout the um, hallway here while I was talking to her on the phone. So, my heart rate is still, you know, keeping up and all that until she comes off the phone so I can finish the workout right now. She came off of the phone and I decided to pick up the camera and vlog. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the camera down and I'm going to try and finish the workout before she calls me back. And then maybe I'll pop back in and, you know, kind of check in with you guys. Oh my gosh, it looks so cluttered on my little table right there. Most of the things on the bottom there is stuff that I use every day to like put my wig on or whatever. But I want to do this workout and 
shower and I don't know just get it together I think I might um, meet up with one of my friends today just chill maybe have some lunch or whatever I'm not really sure I never normally vlog when I meet up with my friends because I want to be in the moment and you know just be chilling and enjoying the company because that does not happen very often so that's that so I have this paper towel thing empty first of all listen I don't think I'll ever be able to get with why men stay the way how they stay this paper towel rack has been empty for about four days at this point and I've decided that I'm not gonna take the empty cardboard off of there because we have more paper towel and it's just empty and under like how do you forget how do you not just take it off when you have rolled the last piece off of there I'd be so confused with men like men and women are literally so different but I'm I stay being confused where it concerns men honestly and I've just left it up there because I feel like I'm tired of having to like go in and take it off and no and it's not that big of a deal but I'm so tired of taking it off and I feel like it's not such a big thing so remember to take it off too and I'm just leaving it there I'm not in the mood anyways I'm gonna finish up my workout and probably pop back in um to show you guys what's up or whatever